Hi, this is Mac with PriceActionTradingSystem.com, and today is Wednesday, April the 25th. This will be our chart lesson, and I'm going to try to keep this one short today. I promise you I'm going to try to keep it under 10 minutes. Uh, I've had a long afternoon. If you've tried to go to our website, uh, you've probably seen that it's down, and, and it's been down almost all day. It went down early this morning, and uh, I didn't really realize that you know something serious going on until late this afternoon when it was still down because you know occasionally the site will go down for you know a few minutes during maintenance or whatever but uh, it turns out uh, I couldn't get a hold of anybody I have sent emails I called their tech support nobody could tell me anything but anyway our site is down they had some kind of hacking attack uh, denial of a service attack is what he told me it was and their entire servers down and they expect to have it up any time. But anyway, if you tried to go to our site, it is down. Uh, they promised me that they'll have it up uh, as soon as they can, so maybe soon. Uh, anyway, you're getting the video here, and you don't have to go to the site to view it anyway, so no big deal. But if you have tried to go to the site and it's down, you're not going to get anything, or you wouldn't have gotten anything, because we've been down all day, and it uh, makes me a little mad for what we pay for all that service, uh, but nothing I can do about it. So let's get into the chart lesson. Let me back back out again. We had an overnight trend. If you drew your trend line off the first two trends, there it was. We had the break. All this was during the overnight. Then we rushed to a new high. And so by the time the market opened right in here, um, we were already working on uh, a downtrend. And you can see it didn't last very long. Uh, it was really a couple of swings down. We broke the trend line. Two legs. There's one leg. Pulled back a second leg down to a new low. We tested that low again, and then prices kind of traded up the rest of the day. And overall, we just had a big trading range here. But we did have this trend line going up, and hopefully you were working off this trend line. Um, and you, it's really just kind of a wedge pattern. And generally, a wedge pattern is a reversal-type pattern, but uh, that doesn't always hold true. So, uh, But that's generally what I'm thinking when I see a wedge pattern. So. Anyway, let's talk about the trades. Hopefully your picture looks similar to mine. And you can see on the big picture it was about a six and a half point uh, trading range. And I love these kind of days because you know you can buy down here and you know you can sell up here and you're generally going to make money. And, uh, you know, you may have to ride out the chop a little bit. Uh, in this case, it went straight up for a scalp. And in this case, it went straight up for a scalp. So fairly easy trades. Uh, you didn't get anything more in the scalp, but that was because the highs were right along here at that point. And uh, so you're just looking to scalp out at the highs again. And uh, but that, but you know, these trades, these kind of days are hard for some people. But I, I, you know, personally, if you understand price action, you know what how prices act, react in a trading range, it makes it a whole lot easier because. You, you can pretty much, you know what's going to happen. Prices are going to reach the strong resistance and turn down and reach the strong support and turn up in most cases. And um, so you sell the lows and you buy the highs. Or <laughs> let me, uh, it's been a long day, I apologize. Let me reverse that statement. You do just the opposite of what I said you do. You buy the lows and you sell the highs. Don't, de definitely don't uh, buy the highs and sell the lows because then you'll be like 90% of the other traders uh, entering at the exact, exact inopportune time and giving your money to somebody that's buying the lows and selling the highs. So but let's go over here and talk about the first trade. I'm going to buzz through these real quick. You see the layout. They should be self-explanatory for most of you. But we got the trend line coming down. This is the first real break, so we're still looking for shorts. There was a short right here, uh, but then you could have entered again here. So there's two two entries right here. Entering this one was more risky because by that time we had all these overlapping bars, but we did have this trap here on a failed second entry long. So going short here was still a reasonable trade, expecting that we're going to make a new low or at least come back down here and test this low. So if you took either one of those, they were okay. This was the ideal place to enter. And um, you may have gotten, if you entered right here, it appeared it was going to be a failure, but as long as you kept your stop above the signal bar, which is the way I always teach to do it, to be safe that you don't get stopped out by the noise, then this was an easy trade. So, uh, And you could have actually ridden this one all the way down to this low uh, if you entered on this first one. If you entered on the second one here, they came back and got your stop. But if you entered on the first one, uh, your, your runners would have survived and you could have ridden this all the way down to the low. 
So that was your first entry. I didn't like this right here. Too many overlapping bars. There was another little trap that's kind of similar to this, but this is just too tight a trading range. And uh, so it was better to wait and uh, see if prices would break lower below this area right in here and fail. And you can see that's exactly what happened. And we had a little second entry long here after this failed break. Prices tried to go lower again below that really bearish bar. That's a failed break lower. And it's a failed break lower right here. And uh, so this is a nice place to go long, expecting that prices are going to come back up all the way to this high again. And that's exactly what happened. So this was a nice trap, uh, short trap where you could enter long and scalp out. Um, it was a little choppy here, but the same thing. This is just a broader double bottom. And you can see it right there. And you got that little famous one tick trap that I'm always talking about. And uh, so entering right here was okay. But the ideal thing to do here was drop your limit order back in here and hope it came back and got you. Uh, I actually dropped mine right here to make sure I had a little extra room. So I dropped the limit order here. Prices ticked higher, pulled back, uh, stop, uh, executed by limit order, and then it was a real quick scalp and you're out. So uh, that's what you want to try to do because if you waited till here to get in, it's more risky because there's not enough room to scalp out really almost before you get up here. And uh, so, and then there was another entry right here that I didn't mark for some reason. I think I meant for this to come all the way over here and show this other entry. But you got, now you got a triple bottom down here. You've got another little small trap with an attempt to go lower that, fought, that fails and reverses back up. So going long right here or right here was a pretty good trade because now it was pretty obvious we were going to at least come back up here and probably break above this even if it was a uh, just a failed break higher to trap so there's a plenty of room to get out more than likely and um, to get your four ticks and any runners were easily safe and this would have been the a great place to exit when you created this double top on this break above this high and you can see prices dropped rapidly and this is actually a failed second entry long. And let me show you. Here's your new high. You're coming up. You make your new high. You pull back. Your first entry long, you are pull back again. Then your second entry long. And when that failed, there were going to be trap traders that were long. They were getting long there. And the key was we weren't back to the EMA after this huge move. So remember, we, 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 want, to look, we want to look to enter when you get close to the EMA not when prices are way away from it because usually you're going to get a pullback to it. So going short right here was a nice trade and plus we were looking for prices to pull back and test this breakout area right, right across here. Well, we got a whole lot more than that and your runners were probably or should have been safe here depending on how you entered the trade, uh, how your bars looked. And uh, this was an easy move down for another two or three points here. And uh, when it reversed uh, going long right here off this low because then you got your last closes were right in here or right in here and no matter where you had it you see you notice that prices bounced there and so going long right here above this little doji um, was a pr was a pretty good setup because it's a doji down here at the lows uh, where the last closes were and even if you moved it up to there you still see it still looks very similar except now you got a little trap here too to give it a little more oomph and this was a nice trade runners were were good too that ran all the way to a back to this high and again with this being a, a two-legged move right here you're gonna you know this is where you're looking to probably exit and if you measure this leg my guess is they're gonna be very close if they're not exact there's leg one and there's leg two <laughs> <clears throat> excuse me and so hopefully you could see that and uh, so this was another great place to go short because now you got your double top across here you got your failed break higher you got a nice reversal bar so going short right there's a good entry there's another easy scalp they they came back and got the runners on this one but this was an easy scalp and uh, depending on if you move your stop to break in and they came to get it anyway so uh, then just another Failed break higher again right here, back at this same area, and uh, and and you should have been trying to draw your uh, wedge off this when you saw this, uh, if you saw these closes right here. And a lot of times you'll have to draw it off your closes 
rather than your uh, your highs and uh, especially wedges. I don't know why wedges tend to work out that way more often, but kind of watch for that and you may find it a little quicker, a little easier. But uh, we're in the 10 minutes. Let's wrap up this last trade. But uh, uh, you had your line set up here, but even if you didn't have that, you definitely should have seen this line right here. And when you had this little congestion that failed and broke lower and bounced off your trend line, there's your entry right there. Nice entry. Another easy scout back to the top. Came back and got our runner this time, but that's okay. But by this time, we already should have had a good amount of money in the bank. Uh, and, you know, we're happy to get our scalp right there. We take our money, and we're done for the day. And, th and if you didn't take this one, this one was real close to the 2.30. Uh, I wasn't trading by this time. I was busy trying to figure out, get a hold of these people, figure out what was wrong with our website. But uh, um, these were some, some nice, easy trades. This one was not as easy. It was not as noticeable as these. Um, but if you found your trend line, you should have been able to find it. And, uh, and it was a pretty good trade that moved on up through the close. But more than likely, if you scalped out and moved your runner to break you and you were out right quick, you just got a nice scalp out of it. So, But it's 11 minutes. I'm going to wrap it up. This is Mac with PriceActionTradingSystem.com. And if you've tried to get to our website, it is down. Hopefully it will be back up to uh, tonight or definitely by tomorrow. If it's not back by tomorrow, I might have to consider getting me a new uh, – a new hosting service or something. So, But anyway, I'm going to wrap it up and get out of here. This is Mac with PriceActionTradingSystem.com, and we'll see you tomorrow.